This video is made possible by my Patreons and my Etsy shop. All the links are in the description. Hello and welcome to today's video. As you may remember, a couple of months ago I made two videos on the old wood 1700 varnishes. And after posting them I also had some contact with uh, the company itself. And they promised to send me some other varnishes to try out. And they kept their promise because they sent me this box. Let me open it. And they sent a lot of things. Let's see. The Italian varnish in brown and dark brown. And the Italian varnish in yellow, orange, red and brown red. That is very kind of them because they are very expensive and they sent me six bottles. Uh, I really appreciate that. As you see, I also have an instrument here that I'm going to use. And in this video I'm going to mix uh, several things. I'm going to use the old wood ground A and B because I like these. Then I'm going to use mastic to seal the wood. And then I'm going to use these varnishes. And I have to see if I have to use colors, but if I have, I'm going to use the colors of uh, Amro. I have asked them about it and they said that you can mix them also with colors of other producers. So that's what I'm going to try out. I have done that also in the past, so I know that it works. But they send a lot of different colors so I can mix them. I can do a lot of things. And that's what I really like to do. Mix everything and make my own thing. Now let me start with the ground A that I'm going to apply with the sponge. This can stay there for 8 hours and then we can go ahead. A and B of the Italian ground are dry. The instrument has this beautiful golden brown color. Now I will go ahead and I will apply the sealant that I like the most, which is a mastic solved in alcohol until it is saturated. And I will use a brush to do that. I will put the instrument again in the drying chamber. The violin is dry. Now I'm going to apply one layer of transparent Cremorna varnish and put it back into the chamber. The transparent layer is dry, so I can go ahead. Now for the first colored layer, I'm planning to use two parts of the Italian varnish brown red with one part of the dark brown, just to give it a bit more body. And I will use this quarter teaspoon to measure it. Thank you. 
the varnish is once again dry now i'm going to paper the instrument with uh, 2400 and a little bit of water and then i will add another layer for the next layer i'm going to spice up things a little bit by mixing two parts of red brown varnish with one part of red brown color extract by hamro Now I'm going to mix again two parts of red-brown varnish with one part of color. For the color part I'm using mainly red-brown with a bit of amber and a couple of drops of black. For the last colored layer I used the same mix of varnish and colors as for the previous one. And here we are with the instrument varnished. I like the color erot, that the red brown is um, one of my favorite colors to see on instruments. And I have to say that this varnish works very well. I like the varnish a lot, it is very very transparent. It helps that it is already colored, although as you may have seen in the first colored layer, it is not very deeply colored. That means that adding the colorants really helps to achieve the desired color without having to apply too many layers. Mixing the Hamro colors with the Old World 1700 varnishes works very well, although maybe one part of color on two parts of varnish is a little bit too much, I would suggest to do two and a half parts of varnish with one part of color. Adding the color extracts to the varnish dilutes it also a little bit, that makes it easier to apply with a brush, and the varnish remains very transparent. I'm going to stop here with the varnish because I want to give the instrument the old look, the antique look. You can have a look to this video if you want to see how I did it. And then I'm going to give one or two transparent layers of the same varnish to finish it up. As soon as the instrument is ready, I will put it on sale on my secondary shop channel. Don't forget to check it if you are interested. That's it for today's video. Once again, many thanks to the Patreons for supporting the channel. Don't hesitate to visit my Patreon page as my Etsy shop for these beautiful cloaks. And I will see you in the next video again. Bye bye!